I love mechanical movements from cams to gears, leakages and more. There's just something beautifully elegant about a mechanism achieving its desired effect through physical movement. Over the years, I've created a ton of different projects here on the channel based on mechanisms I've uncovered in old technical manuals and engineering books. And people often ask, hey, where can I find that book? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you my favorite sources for amazing mechanical movement inspiration. And the best part about it is that they're all completely free. Let's get started. Number one, 507 Mechanical Movements. This is the OG Mechanical Bible written by Henry T. Brown in 1868. It contains a wealth of mechanical designs from a variety of sources, all fairly simple and easy to understand and replicate, but they lack organization or any real insight into the mechanism's function or use beyond the briefest of descriptions. This can make deciphering the diagrams a little bit challenging sometimes, like this two-way to one-way mechanism, which I have recreated. It took me a while to figure out exactly what was going on, but it's not too bad. 507 Mechanical Movements has been rehashed and republished many, many times over the years, but you don't need to buy a physical copy. There is free scanned archive versions online and an amazing interactive version on the website, 507 Movements. This website brings many of the mechanical designs to life using animations, and it is an absolute joy to browse. I cannot thank the creators enough for the creation of this website. Not everything is animated, but even so, it's definitely a resource you need to check out. Reference number two is the Engineer's Sketchbook of Mechanical Movements by Thomas Walter Barber, published in 1890. This book is really interesting because it provides a much wider glimpse of what was going on in the engineering and manufacturing space at the time. It has illustrations of machinery and componentry of all kinds with the information of the companies that made them, which is something that's really fascinating. And look, the book is really interesting to browse, but the details that I'm interested in, like the mechanisms I can use in my projects, are fairly sparse and few and far between. That said, it is still an indispensable resource that I check all the time for different ideas, but this is definitely one of the books where a lot of the ideas, diagrams, and concepts in it have been copied and rehashed many, many times because obviously it's well out of copyright, but you don't need to buy anything because this version is still freely available and is uploaded to archive.org. But for number three, we are moving way forwards in time to the height of the USSR. This is Mechanisms in Modern Engineering Design by Ivan Artobolevsky. Artobolevsky's achievements in the field of mechanics are not to be understated, and I highly recommend you read up on him. This multi-volume series is a result of his life's work in researching and categorizing various mechanical devices, and let me tell you, they are a must-have resource. There are seven volumes in total, with volume one and two, of which there are two parts, covering lever mechanisms. Volume three covers geared mechanisms. Volume four covers cam, friction, and flexible link mechanisms. And finally, volume five, part one and part two, cover more complex pneumatic and electronic mechanisms, as well as hydraulics. Out of all the books, however, it is volume three that is a true wonder and one that was so important to me, I scoured the internet to find myself a hard copy at great expense. And it covers some of the most interesting geared mechanisms you've ever seen. There are irregular gear trains. There is reciprocating mechanisms, mechanisms which transcribe spirals, permutations of Geneva mechanisms which create uniform or irregular dwell cycles, and so much more. Seriously, this book is something special. It is so inspirational to me, and you do not need to own a physical copy because again, there is a scanned copy available over on archive.org. There are many, many other printed resources, but as I said, many of them start to overlap. But if you think I've missed out your favorite, most important resource for engineering and mechanical mechanisms, then please leave it down in the comments below. Just don't leave a link, just give me the name because links get blocked by YouTube. I'm sure it'll help out a lot of people and I would love to hear what you think is a fantastic resource for mechanical movements. But old dusty books are only one source of mechanical inspiration because next I wanna talk about some YouTube channels that I find really interesting and inspirational for my projects. And we'll be kicking things off with a channel I really hope you're familiar with. Thang, 
010146. If your YouTube algorithm is anything like mine, then you would have been served these mesmerizing 3D renders of various mechanisms. And Nagurin Thang has been sharing these designs online for 14 years. He's a retired engineer and he still uploads these really interesting animations of all kinds of interesting mechanisms that do all sorts of crazy things. Many of them represent or build on mechanisms that were in the printed text I've already talked about. And by being an animation, it makes it easier to understand what's actually going on. Also important to note, he shares critical information, for example, relations between lengths and that sort of thing in the video descriptions, because you'll need that info if you want to recreate the mechanisms that are shown. And while 3D animations are definitely nice, Eventually, we want to work up to the real world where we build physical things using these amazing mechanisms. And one such channel that does that really well is S-Craft. I have James from Broken Link Robotics to thank for bringing this Japanese channel to my attention. And on S-Craft, they use 3D printing to bring mechanical movements to life, usually with a little bit of personal flair. These design touches often result in some really mesmerizing mechanical art, like this multi-stage scotch yoke mechanism which shows the sine wave in a really elegant manner. I only just recently dropped my video on the Scotch Oak, but in that I used glow in the dark pigment to map out the sine wave that the Scotch Oak mechanism produces and showed how that's different to a crank. But it'd be really interesting to actually just have lots of Scotch Oaks chained together like uh, S-Craft does and create that sine wave visually just with them moving or maybe even move a ball along with that sine wave. You can see where these, these mechanical devices and mechanisms can start to get really complex real fast. But I do really appreciate that S-Craft actually goes into detail and shows how the stages of the mechanisms work instead of just showing it all at once. But when it comes to packaging all of these mechanisms together into one crazy kinetic sculpture, there's only one guy at the top of my list right now. That is Jay from Engine Easy. Although he's only been uploading for a couple of years to YouTube, Jay has quickly become known for his obsession with overly complex mechanical sculptures and ball machines. And I am so into it. I particularly like that he often highlights how many revisions it takes to make mechanisms work in the real world. Things like clearance, material strength, and weight aspects come into play when you're trying to create these complex mechanical movements in the real world using 3D printing, laser cutting, and other manufacturing technologies. Those sort of things can really stuff you up and it takes a lot of iterations to get it right. His kinetic sculptures are absolutely works of art and I highly recommend you check out his channel. And I am oh so jealous of his studio and workshop setup. So there you have it. I reckon there is a lifetime of inspiration just in the resources I've mentioned in this video. But I've, if I've missed your favorite, please leave it in the comments below to help out others and myself because creativity does not exist in a vacuum. We build on the ideas of those who came before us just as I hope that this video will be a source of inspiration for you to go make something. So what are you waiting for? Go create something awesome. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.